What's going on guys? Bao here with some Battle Spheres and yeah, I'm going to be playing this on Android. Let's actually get into it. Not too sure what to expect, but uh, this is uh, very different. We got five cards up at the bottom. This is just a tutorial, of course. And interesting, they do have skills for each of the spheres. And then of course you got enemy spheres we do have boosters as well we got hard boot attack stuff like that which is nice we do have the HP at the bottom and we're gonna grab that just to just to grab it even though I could have probably finished off those guys but uh, let's just finish that off there we go and some of the skills that these guys have is really really nice and then there is the boss of the stage and then of course we have lines showing where the boss is going to attack avoid her attacks and look for the weak spot so we're going to try to hit that weak spot but of course it's on the opposite side and then we do have our skill which is attack boost too so it just increases its attack and then we have another one healing wave yeah we're not gonna start off with this grade of characters they're just showing us how to play we're probably gonna start off with some really bad characters or spheres I shouldn't call them characters because they're just little balls that you can't really t make out I mean I guess if you have a big enough screen you can make them out but they're pretty small and let's just hit all of them and see what happens and I like the skill that actually not the one that shoots out lasers, but the one that shoots out like little fireballs or whatever and chases after the enemy. Those are nice. Because you just gotta hit whatever and it uh, still helps you out a lot. It does look like we got a character, probably one of the characters we're gonna be using when we start off, so yeah, it's pretty bad. And we do actually get a select. Uh, kind of reminds me of Pokemon. We're gonna go with the fire because that's usually what I go with. We do have the water and grass basically, so. And yeah, there we go. Let's get into the stages. My name is user59464. Oh my god. You did get a change out, of course, but uh, for now it's going to be like that. And here's our first stage. So we get one character, which is the one we picked. So whatever one you picked. And then we get the purple blob. And then we do have a helper, which just destroy that. Its skill is amazing. I take that back. I like that skill a lot better because it hits everything. Although the other one goes after the character, sounds probably a little bit better. But look at that, it just destroys. And we have, we can. I was gonna say we can have up to five, but we have four plus the tag. So technically five, but you only have four of your characters, and then you have the tag itself. And we don't have that much HP. I guess this is the boss of this stage, which is just a red blob. And of course, if you notice, wow, that was crazy, it just went back and forth. If you notice, if you kill it, all the other things die. So if you're looking at the boss, unless you're having trouble with it, kill everything around it, then go for the boss. But uh, if you can kill the boss, just go straight for it. Kind of reminds me of pool, though. I don't know why, but uh, I mean, it's a little bit different, of course, but it's what it kind of reminds me of. And what is this? Just leveling up our character. We can have it up to level... Well, this one's level 10. Of course, they go a lot higher, but... Most likely, you're going to be able to... Evolve and do all that stuff as well. Although, the ones they give us aren't that great. Hopefully, we'll be able to get better characters pretty soon. Because these two are not the best. Let's see if that works. And the purple thing shoots out like a uh, goo. I don't know what that is supposed to be. And then we do have, I think that's an upgraded version of the character I have. And there's the line. I've got a pumpkin, a random pumpkin. Oh, there's some more pumpkins. We got three of them. We might as well go straight for the boss. Double strike. Almost dead. Probably just hit the boss and it'll be over. And sure enough, it is. Yeah, it's pretty easy to get this stuff done. 
Well, so far, we're barely level 3. I mean, it's probably going to get a lot harder, of course. And we got some uh, coins. I'm not too sure what the coins are called. We do have, like, diamonds as well. Or gems, I'm not too sure. Yeah, they're just called gems. We got coins and then orbs. Not too sure what all that stuff is for. We do have stamina, of course. And it looks like we do get to evolve. So it looks like you have to have the same star character. So this one's a one star, so you need to evolve it with the one star. Doesn't matter if it's purple or whatever color it is, it's got to be a one star. And then you evolve into a two star. Level this one up to max, which is 20. And then you're going to have to have a two star. And then so on and so forth. I'm not too sure how high the characters go. Maybe five or six. Or maybe even four. Who knows? Maybe five. I'm thinking five. That's usually how high they go. But uh, yeah, some of the characters look pretty good. Although in like the ball form, they just look kind of weird. But yeah, I can't wait to actually get some of the other characters, which hopefully we get to at a point. And I don't know what to do. We're just going to try to take out one of them because one of them's going to attack. There was no way to hit both of them out of the way, so... You can actually set these up for like the boss wave and try to get them all to a certain side. If you know the boss is going to spawn at the top or the middle or the bottom, then you want to try to get the orbs in that spot or try to keep them around each other at least. So that way you can hit multiple orbs at once. Like I got lucky there. I didn't know where the boss was, but it was right there next to me, basically. So we're going to be able to hit this thing and actually kill it. So yeah, knowing where the boss is is going to help you out a lot, especially if you have to go back and face some of these, which you're probably going to have to do because you're going to hit a wall at some point. And to set up your spears to counter the boss basically 74.7 percent and we do have a summon as you can see here 50 for one which is i guess not bad we do get a super rare which probably everybody gets probably different for everybody though so let's see who we get uh we get an elf i guess that's supposed to be an elf is that an elf nymph oh okay and then we have uh, times 10 for 500. So you're probably going to want to save up 500 of the gems and go for that. Um, that is actually a 4 star. Wow, that's pretty pretty good. I'm guessing there's a 5 star though, most likely. And we do have quests. We have daily. We have achievements. And we have events. So they all give you different stuff. Would recommend trying to complete those. I would save up to 500 gems and try to go for the times 10 because you're going to get the best out of that. Some of the games actually it's better just to go one at a time but I'm guessing in this instance it's better to go to 10 at a time and there's the price of them so $2 for 20 eh, It's not that bad actually I've seen worse and then we do have a subscription as well which you can do and then of course we got the expand and all that stuff which you have to pay for with your gems got some sales going on and some other stuff as well and we have a ton of stuff at the bottom that we haven't even got into we got the shop well we kind of looked at that no we looked at the summon i'm not too sure about the shop we looked at uh arena and let some of the other stuff see there's the arena right there But we're barely starting, so we don't really have to worry about all that other stuff. We'll see how good this character is. It's probably not that great because it's not actually leveled, and it does shoot. I think that was three or four arrows. I couldn't really tell with the other effects going on. Three? Yeah, I think that was three. Three arrows, which is nice. Maybe if you upgrade it, it'll shoot out more. Of course, I'm going to try to upgrade it and uh, get a lot better... Or get a lot stronger to get better attacks. Or I think that thing's actually shooting out arrows. So what does the Nif do then? I'm just going to call it Elf. It's easier to say Elf. Um, yeah, that thing shoots out the arrows, doesn't it? I don't know. The tags that we're using are really, really good, by the way. Because, I mean, people have been playing it probably for a while. But I'm just getting into it. Let me know what you actually think of the game if you want me to actually play it a little bit more. Most likely the other gameplays, because I usually play these for about an hour and stuff like that. It's going to go on my second channel. 
which uh, hopefully I can actually get all that done. But I usually just play it once and then um, that's about it. But uh, kind of actually like this one. It does look like fun. We do have an exclusive thing for the game or purchase and stuff like that. We're not going to be purchasing anything, but uh, you are looking for a game to top up on and you actually like this one. And then you can buy some gems and some other stuff as well. But yeah, I would recommend to at least try it for like an hour, eh, probably like 30 minutes. Because it does look like it's going to be a little bit slow in the beginning. I mean, you're not that strong and stuff like that. You're not going to have the good characters or anything like that. But uh, after you start getting the better characters, it is going to be a lot better. And when they're against the wall like that, you can't really turn them too well, which is kind of annoying, but I kind of understand why it's like that. I was going to try to get it inside, but there's no way to get inside that. Let's, uh, we'll hit the... Oh, I don't know. We'll try to hit... Ah, I'll just hit that. As you can see, that wasn't as strong, but if I would have turned it around and hit the wall, it would have been a lot stronger. Because I'm not pulled back all the way, so... Make sure you watch your HP as well, because it is at the bottom. And we do have multiple waves on some of these. I'm guessing as you go on, they're going to get a lot harder. And you might actually get more of them as well, so... There is that. We do have to try to fill in the other slot, though. And they probably do have a cost. I'm guessing that 4-star does cost quite a bit. And then we have 2-2 two, two stars. I will try to get another one. See if we can actually hit... I don't know. Can I hit multiple? Yeah, I got two. I was trying to hit all three, but... Kind of hard to get the angles down. I bet you once you get the hang of the angles and hitting it off and bouncing it around the actual map, because it's the same map basically. They might throw in some like uh, stuff to block your path, but basically the same thing. So you'll get the hang of it and it'll be a lot easier. It does look like it's a five star, because you can see the stars and they're kind of blocked out. I think it does go up to a five. So we're one away on that L, although getting another four star is probably pretty hard just to level it up because you have to max it out which I think on that's like 50 or 60 I can't remember I've seen it it said it at one point and then after that you're gonna have to find another four star to level it up but uh, yeah let me know what you think if you have any of the games you want to play let me know in the comments below I will try to get to them as soon as I possibly can thank you guys for watching and we'll talk to you guys later